Hello and welcome to Kismet Rising. So this is your weekly oracle card guidance and we're using three different oracle type decks here. They all have a, quite a different energy as well. This is your Angels of Atlantis. This is your Madame Andorra cards and these are this is a rune oracle card deck. So I just thought that this week perhaps uh, we needed something that was quite different because according to the energies of this, of this time, I feel that everyone would be going through something that's quite different from each other. Talking about energies, I would love to come up and do an energy forecast, but I haven't been feeling well in the last weeks, and so I'm just going to delay that a little bit. Although there's a lot to speak about in terms of the energy coming up for the new year, as well as uh, towards in a couple of weeks from now, with the eclipses and, and all of that, as well as uh, as it extends over the next um, two to three years and I will as soon as I can um, make a video about that. I would also love to do a bit more uh, pick a card readings especially for this time of the year as well as to welcome the next year and I'm going to see how I how I feel in the next weeks and if I feel well enough I'll try to do some more of those and I have them online before the end of this year. Anyway to just get into it you may um, make a choice and go down to the description box where you'll find your timestamp. I'm going to go ahead and begin and by the way your decks are number one, two and three. So make your selection and as I said I will go ahead and begin. So for those of you who've chosen the Angels of Atlantis deck here, we are asking what is it that we need to know at this moment? What is our oracle guidance for this week? Okay, and we so for those of you who've chosen the first deck here, the card that we have uh, is Miracles, okay? And this card, for me, what it really talks about is really being able to acknowledge all the greatness that you have around you and really being able to actually tap into that, being able to tap into that energy which you already have and to understand that it isn't that you need to go somewhere, it isn't that you need to still do something, but rather that all that you have and all that is great is within you right now. This card really talks about how to go within and how to be able to access what it is, what it is that you have within you already. So it's about being able to appreciate the jewel that's in you already, that you are. And to be able to understand that exactly as things are right now is also good. Being able to access that jewel that's inside of you that you might not always be able to access, that you might not always be in touch with. And to be able to work with that energy, to be able to understand that it, you need not seek outside of yourself and that the greatest goodness is within you already and that this is a goodness that you can carry with you and take to newer places. So this is probably against the contrasting energy that you might be experiencing where you might be feeling the urge to move or the need to uh, be in a different space, um, the need to have achieved something um, which is slightly out of your range at this moment. And this card is basically there to tell you to steer away from that kind of thinking, to steer away from the thinking that, oh, you still need to get somewhere, you still need to go somewhere, and to actually recognize that all the goodness that you have is within you and all the beauty that you actually seek is already within you. It's not outside of you. It doesn't matter if you have made the perfect expression of that outside of you, whether it is in your home decor, or whether it's in a project, an art project, or whether it's in presenting yourself in a, in a court situation, or however it is that you wish to express yourself. It's not as important as what is inside of you at this moment. And to understand the value that you have and the worth that you have and to understand that in context of your given environment. So for some of you, you may actually be having the miracle of being able to feel that and be in touch with it. Whereas for others, you might have to work a little bit to be able to access that or to be able to feel that inside of you. Now, the other thing I'm hearing is that if you choose to focus on that which is good inside of you, which is perfect as it is, nothing which requires changing or developing or healing, but that which is inside of you, which is perfect as it is at this moment. If you choose to focus on that, then you'll be able to find that you are okay and you will find that you are more able to access 
and attract miracles into your life, real miracles, and that they will become more frequent in your life. So if you're in a situation where things haven't been going your way for a few years or for a few months, and you're wishing for things to have worked out, sit back and look at where things are already perfect and what you wouldn't change about your life and appreciate that for this moment. So this is quite contrary to the message that is given um, with the book here, I'm quite sure. But that is the message that I'm feeling for you at this moment. Um, and the other, the last message here, which kind of ties up everything, is basically that the, the miracle of life, of any kind of life, or any kind of life or being uh, on this planet, is in itself something that one can uh, take in it one's awe. Because if you have to simply understand the workings of the human body or of any animal body and understand the way in which everything correlates with each other and works together in harmony with each other, then you will realize that you are actually perfect exactly as you are and everything is working to the best of your ability, even if others may tell you that you are not. Even if others may tell you that you need to supplement with something, whether it be a different attitude or with some kind of medication or with some kind of um, something that makes you will make you feel better, there is you need to understand at this moment that there is harmony exact in exactly what you're feeling right now. Okay, so um, yeah, so that is the message for you at this moment to understand the harmony that exists exactly as you are at this moment. So thank you for those of you who've chosen this um, option here. I hope that message has been helpful and has been relevant. And I would like to say thank you to all of you. And also, if you're a new subscriber, well, welcome to the channel. And once again, I would really like to do a few more readings before Christmas. But if I'm not able to get to it, then I will try to get them out earlier next year. So once again, thank you if you've come by and you've chosen this one. I'm moving on to the next one now. So for those of you who've chosen this deck here, the Madame and Dora deck, the question we're asking is, what is it that we're feeling right now? What is it that we need to know at this moment? What is our oracle guidance for the week as we go along? Okay, so this was this card came out in the reversed. I'm going to be reading it just as it is though. And we have the card called the King. And it reads authority and diplomacy. Okay, so this card here is talking to me so much about you being the king of your own life, of you being the authority of your own life and not allowing um, or succumbing to another authority. So the question here is, are you actually going in and being and doing what it is that you need to be for yourself or do for yourself? Are you being authentic in this moment? Because if you are being authentic, then you are, in fact, listening to your own authority and you are able to work with others in harmony with uh, diplomacy. And it's not a fight. It's not a struggle. It's not something that you need to prove to anyone else. It's something, it's a quietness that you understand within you where you you completely accept and understand your authenticity and your authority as a result of being, simply being. And so this card here or this message for those of you who've chosen the second option is saying to me that it's asking me to ask you, are you the authority of your life? Can you stand with yourself at this moment and say that I am completely in control of my life. I have made all these choices and I have done so freely and I'm living in a state which I want to live in. I live in this home because I want to live here. I will live in this neighborhood because I want to live here. I live in this country because I want to live here. I do this work that I, I want to do. I am friends with these people because I want to be friends with them. I have these relations in my life because I want to have them. I have this love affair or this love relationship because I want to have it, because it belongs to me? Or are you 
in a state where you are having to do things as a as a surrender or as a sacrifice or as something that you just because you feel you don't have a choice or maybe you feel drawn by somebody and you feel out of control and you're no longer guiding your own ship well this card is bringing attention to that it's saying to to you where are you not in authority in your life and how can you repair that? How can you fix that? How can you bring yourself more in authority? How can you establish your own footprint over your own life so that you are completely satisfied and at peace with the life that you're living right now? Are you 100% happy with your life? And if you are, then you may give yourself a pat on the back and congratulate yourself because you've done well. For those of you who are in this state, and can call themselves the boss of their lives or the king of their lives and are completely within their own authority. You can you can actually celebrate that. Now this card, uh, may you may have this card also if you are working for someone else. And this is not necessarily talking about a superficial sense of authority, uh, of not obeying or... Um, working in harmony with those around you so if you have a boss and if you're feeling like you're not in your own authority because you you have an employer that that bosses you around then the question for you is well you know am i in authority in my own life and if not how can i bridge that gap to that authority but if you're in a situation where you're in a work environment and you have employers who are guiding you and suggesting things to you and uh form an actual authority in your life and you are in harmony and at peace with this then you are still an authority in your life because you're not feeling dragged you're not feeling pulled you're not feeling forced into doing anything so this card is very much about that it's about are you feeling forced to do something are you doing something because you have to are you doing something because you've been told to do it and how well does that sit with you are you comfortable doing that because for some of you here you there is the feeling that you really need to come into your own authority. You really need to be in charge of your life and to say, well, I've chosen this. This is why I'm doing this. I've chosen this job. This is why I accept this authority. And I'm fine with that. I'm in harmony with that. But for some of you, it's it feels like a struggle. It almost feels like you're clambering up a mountain and that it's hard. It's like you're doing some rock climbing. It's hard to feel like you are in your own authority it's hard to understand that um, it's hard to understand your own worth in terms of your own authority it's hard to understand your individuality it's hard not to be part of the crowd of the larger crowd it's hard to stand out it's hard to be your own unique self so this is the, the meaning of this card this week it's asking you to rule over your own life with a certain authority but also in harmony and to take back what has been lost, take back what belongs to you and what is yours only. And uh, whether that means that you, you're not going to be taking direction from another person or you're not going to be told by somebody else what to do anymore. You're not going to be um, forced to do something as a sacrifice or because you feel you need to do something. So this card is really talking about that, that kind of energy. So See where it fits you in your life and see if this is as a message that is relevant to you. And once again, if you don't feel that this fits or if you, you feel that you are the authority in your life, then this card is also saying, well, celebrate that, you know, just pat yourself on the back and be happy for how far you've come. And perhaps take, a, you know, a stock take of how and what you had to do to get to this point and just as a as a memory or just as a reinforcement okay so i hope that message has resonated with you and i hope that's helped you and um as i mentioned for the other card i would like to say thank you and thank you to all the new subscribers as well as uh, and welcome to the channel and i will definitely try and put out some videos before the end of this year and if i'm not able to then hopefully i'll be able to at the beginning of January. Okay, so well, thank you so very much for coming by to the channel. I hope this has helped you. And I'm moving on to the next set of cards here, which is the final deck, which is your Rune Oracle. So for those of you who chosen the third deck here, the question is, what is it that you need 
to know at this moment? What is the message that is here to guide you for this week or for the weeks ahead? This feels right. So with regard to this card here, I think the most important message that I'm hearing here is really in accordance with the energy at the moment. And it's talking about preparing yourself for something that's beautiful, something that's sacred and something where you need to go inward to work with yourself. And you need to be able to create a sort of protection around you so that you can be left alone to do that, so that you will not be disturbed or you can be in peace during the time that you need to go inward. So almost as if you need to create a space, um, or create that fortress around you to protect you so that you have the space to be able to go inward and do the work that you need to do right now. So this card can also talk about um, being in touch with oneself and understanding one's vulnerabilities and being able to fix those things, being able to you know, repair your walls before you go into battle or if you're expecting a battle or before you go into a silent mode, before the winter comes to, um, or before the storms come to bat down the hatches. Um, so it's about actually working with that. It's about working and strengthening yourself and the physical body and your home and that of which represents your shell. So your body, your car, perhaps your bicycle, your home, whatever shelter that you have. It's about securing that at this moment, not because there's any damage or any harm indicated here, but rather because there's a need to go inward and there's a need to go inward without being disturbed. So it's about taking care of things outside of you so that you may have the space to go inside and access the energy that you need to. It's also about preparing you for the energy that's coming your way, which is going to feel like, for some of you, like an onslaught, or it's going to feel, for some of you, like a really busy time where things are moving ahead in a in a very fast way. But in order to be able to access this and to be able to, to surf this energy, to be able to work with this energy, you need to come into a space of stillness within you. And this is talking about the stillness that you need to have to be able to come to, the stillness that you'll be able to create in your life in order for you to be able to really benefit from this energy at play right now. But the more um, obvious meaning here is where is it that you need to take care of yourself better? Where is it that you need to repair something in your home? Or where is it that you need to repair something or heal something with regard to your body? What is it that you're lacking right now? And where is it that you need to give yourself that extra bit of care? Okay. Um, and then... Are you giving yourself the space to be silent and this and the space to simply be? This card is also talking to me about a certain degree of creativity. So I don't usually get that message with regard to this card, but I'm feeling that right now. I'm feeling that for you to be creative in whichever area of your life that you are, whether you are working in a creative field or simply to be creative in one's own life, you need to be able to do that from a space of stillness. So you need to be able to reach that stillness and be able to from then create because then only can you hear the voice so instead of being always just on the outline here and trying to protect that and trying to repair that after you've done that go inward take a break don't go into the space where there's stillness and feel and listen and what you need to hear will come to you and with that will come also a flow of creativity it will also come a, a small at first but a flow of abundance, so it kind of trickles through at first, but then it kind of comes through with a quite a large force. And But you can only achieve this, according to this card, or the only time you'll be able to achieve this is if you take care of the outer and leave it, and then go inward and work with that stillness within yourself. So you might be asking, well, how do I apply this to my life? And I would say that, um, you know, perhaps there is areas of your life that is struggling because you haven't been able to be still within yourself. So ask yourself, where would something like meditation help you? Or where would something like um, just some kind of repetitive work, like knitting or sewing or painting, uh, something that brings you into a kind of meditative state, where 
where are you lacking that in your life? Because if you're able to feel that, and if you're able to go into that space, then you're able to access much more inside of you that you've not been able to access until now. So this um, card is also t talking to me about protection in the greater sense of the word. And I know that in the runes, um, this is this is a kind of different message that I'm about to give you. But um, I want to say that this has something to do with um, with regard to legacy and the long term. Like, what are you doing now and what is the legacy of it in the long term? I'm not talking about uh, wealth um, and in terms of legacy. I'm talking about what is it that you're doing right now that is and that you're leaving behind and how is that impacting all the rest of us? And how are your thoughts and being, how are you as a being impacting the rest of us? Are you this person who is frazzled or frustrated or irritated and not able to calm yourself and bring yourself into a level of peace? And if so, how is that impacting all the rest of us? Now, this is not to guilt trip you into thinking that you need to be different because of the rest of the world, but rather just simply to understand that you don't live in a vacuum and that you are impacting the rest of the world. So even though this may look like you're quite desolate here and that you are alone, and you might even be trying right now to keep yourself alone and keep yourself away from other people, you are still impacting other people, even by living away from them or not being a part of these people. So the other message I'm getting here, or part of your message, is if there's a, an invitation um, reaching out to you, accept that invitation. If there is a um, some kind of somebody calling your way or knocking on your door, allow this presence in your life because it's going to give you an opportunity to be able to understand yourself better, and it will also give you an opportunity to come back and go into that space of stillness into yourself in a deeper level. It is important to understand who you are and in, in context with others. So don't um, push away invitations. Uh, as you know, even though you might be inclined to do so, um, just accept them and see where it takes you and see who you are in the eyes of others. See how you feel as a result of interacting with others. And then you can always retreat to that space, which is yours, and go in and access your stillness. And it's almost as if they're saying that your stillness will be richer as a result of having had that interaction and having... Uh, participated in in the world and being a part of the world okay so if you are feeling the need to isolate yourself or to uh, cut away from the world of course respect that but if you are uh, you know be receiving invitations then perhaps give it a try perhaps venture out and see what happens it might do you good all right so that is your message for those of you who've cho chosen this card and come this week i feel like that might not have resonated for all of you but i don't know you let me know um, sometimes, you know, the messages are quite specific and they go to some people only, but do let me know. I loved reading your comments and, uh, yeah, do comment as much as you like. <laughs> it's always nice to receive your comments and, um, let me know how you guys are doing. And also thank you once again, um, to all the new subscribers that have come into, uh, to the channel in the last while. Welcome and thank you for your support. And I wish you all very well. I will uh, be doing a, an energy forecast next week. And um, I will try, as I mentioned already, to get some more videos out. And if I'm not able to do it before Christmas, then I'll try to get it out in the new year. All right. So sending you all lots of love. And um, yes, I hope you're all having a wonderful festive uh, period in your lives. And um, blessings abound from Kismet Rising. <laughs>